Hello everyone, Al Nino here, and today we're going to be talking about the Mage Update and how this Mage Update affects Katarina. You gotta get ready. If you're a Katarina main, get ready. I read through the whole patch notes and there were a lot of changes that affect Katarina. So we're going to go over all of them. I'll try to make this video as quick as possible so it's not too long. So let's get started everyone. Abyssal Scepter is the first item here. Abyssal Scepter. Now I'm not going to read the whole thing, don't worry. I'm going to go, I've already read it, so I'll just explain to you the main changes to this item that affect Katarina. One of them mainly being the fact that the magic resist reduction aura went from 20 flat into scaling. Me, as a huge fan of Abyssal Scepter, this crushes everything I love about Abyssal. In the description, I read it briefly, they said they're going to make Abyssal somewhat a late game item. They are looking to make the item for late game. I simply cannot believe what they're doing. Second thing, the magic resist drop aura doesn't affect minions. Bizarre. Really bizarre. So the fact that you were able to push out minions with Abyssal was the best thing about Katarina because Katarina's landing phase is weak compared to others, making Abyssal cost efficient, really good in lane, and probably one of the best items to rush with on Cat. You basically took out all those three and changed the concept of Abyssal completely by basically taking out the the drop 20 MR on minions means you can't push out waves against champions that have really good laning phase. Katarina being very well known as not the best laner compared to others. This hurts Cat a lot in lane phase, big time. The second thing is the magic resist drop aura 25 at level 18. Are you kidding me? Like they think that the 25 MR drop is going to make this item really strong late game when you can simply just buy a Void Staff and that's a thousand times better than an Abyssal late game. This doesn't work. It was already 20. You increased it by 5 to level 18. What's that big of a difference? That plus 5. What is that going to make a difference in the late game? Maybe like level 16, 15, 16, uh, 17 when they don't buy MR, maybe. But it's still, the uh, the pre-patch, before pre-patch 6.9, 6.8, and before Abyssal Scepter was way better than this. So this hurts Cat in a lot of way. The fact that they also increased the cost of the item, making it less cost efficient. Terrible. The best thing about Abyssal was that it was cost efficient and really good to buy early. It's the item you get early on, so you have a good laning phase. You take that out. You ruin the concept of Abyssal for being an early game item and you sort of force it in people's faces to get this game late item. But now they made it so that it's not about the MR drop anymore, it's about the MR. So it went from 50 to 60 in the MR and the AP of it is reduced and they gave CDR to the item which I'm totally not used to at the moment. I'll test and I'll see how it is if I don't think it's good then I'm probably going to switch out a different rush item. Being mainly haunting guys is a rush item I'm thinking about because he gives you 15 magic penetration as soon as you buy the item. You don't have to wait till level 15, 16 or whatever to get that 20 MR drop when you can just get flat magic penetration from haunting guys and it costs way less. 1,650 gold on haunting guys. A scepter, 2,750. It's almost not worth grabbing anymore, to be quite honest. It's kind of sad that they did this to the item because it was one of my favorite items in the game. So, in my opinion, they ruined it. They ruined the item and its concept. We're going to move on now to Zarnia, another heartbreaking situation. One of my favorite items in the game, Zarnia's Hourglass. Look at what they did to it. Oh, you're about to, you're about to be mind blown. AP reduced from 100 to 70. They took out Need to See Large Rod as part of its recipe, and they put in the Codex, which gives you the CVR. Wow. They totally just 
This has never happened in League of Legends history where they did this to Zhonya's Hourglass. They never made the cost gold from 3,500 to 2,900. Never. In the history of League of Legends, this never happened. This is kind of bizarre. It costs less, has less AP, and the cooldown of Zhonya is increased by a lot, way more, 90 to 120. So when you definitely need it, you won't have it. This is actually pretty annoying and that kind of sucks it was one of my favorite items i might still get it because the active is still a strong part of the item it's still powerful but i'm really upset that they took out needlessly large rod from this it was such a great item and so unique to itself like the, uh, the active the the fact that it was an nlr item recipe was so good you take that out you didn't have to take that out it was perfect the way it was but i guess with this mage update they really want to balance things out but they're not they're not thinking like about assassins in this patch they're just thinking about mages there was zero reference to assassins in this entire patch that i read zero actually one reference and that was against assassins it wasn't with assassins and that was i'll come to it later it's about guardian angel they said something about that really sad change design hourglass definitely affects katarina sucks really sucks when we got the spirit visage now to compensate for the you know the abyssal change they were like okay let's reduce the magic resistance of spirit visage from 70 to 55 i guess that's good for mages it's a it's a good news this is overall good news because i'm a mid lane player i play katarina and i'm happy they reduced magic resistance of an mr item so cool nothing major here it's just good news. Spectacal, of course, uh, the MR of Spectacal is reduced from 35 to 30. Nothing huge. It's just, you know, it's not that big, but it is a thing. It's still there. Oops, sorry. I picked it up again. Chalice. Wow. Chalice. So I'm guessing the magic resistance of this item is still there because in the description, they didn't mention that they're going to take that MR out. It's still there. I think so. It's still there. They didn't mention it, it being gone. But now the way they're doing these items, Chalice, Roa, Catalyst, all these items, uh, I think even Athene's Unholy Grail, they're making it so that you grant 100 base health regen per 5 seconds if your current health percentage is lower than your current mana percentage. So this basically means that when your health is lower than your mana, you basically get base health regeneration. And it goes the other way around. If you have, if your current mana is lower than your health, you get 100% base mana regen. Like this completely benefits mages. It's a good change for mages. Still, not a good change for Katarina. This doesn't help Katarina in any way. In fact, Katarina was not mentioned in this whole patch note. Katarina was not mentioned at all. It's almost like they, they just forget the concept of Katarina and threw her out the window like she doesn't matter. It really sucks, but let's see. They're just really making all these mages powerful, but they're not doing anything to Katarina. And it's just, it's annoying because I like the champion. Why would you do this? They even changed Abyssal and Zonin, which are amazing items on Kat. Uh, okay, Banshee's Veil, another item. Simply, the health reduced was, is a really good change because health is the major counter of Katarina. How do you counter Katarina? Is by stacking health. Stacking health, stacking MR, but mainly health. Health is actually a lot more effective than just buying MR. Because with health, if you have a Warmog, let's say Spirit Visage, Banshees, and you have a shit ton of health, you can't actually kill someone. Even if you're a mage and you don't build MR, like Roa, Rylai, Leandri, if you buy all these three items against Katarina, Katarina can't burst you. You have way too much health. How can she burst you? So it's good they, they're, they're nerfing the HP of this item, but in terms of that, they also lower the cost of the item. So from 2,900 to 2,450. So that's it for Banshees. Moving on, we got the Guardian Angel, an item I always get late game because it's amazing. I love the item and it just does plenty of work late game. But here, look, look at look, this is what I found funny in what they said here. GA as the go-to item when looking for life insurance against physical divers and assassins. If you read at the quotation there, at the very bottom, 
GA as the go-to item when looking for life insurance against physical divers and assassins. So they're basically saying assassins are scary, get this item, it's really good against assassins. You didn't even mention anything about assassin this entire patch until now, and you're not really saying anything to help assassins, you're just, this is a good item to protect yourself against assassins. Ooh, so assassins don't buy this item, right? <laughs> I don't know. I, myself, as a Katarina player, I get this item always late game, so I'm still happy about the change because they reduced the gold amount from 2700 to 2400. I don't care that they reduced the MR from 60 to 45 because the reason I get GA is because of its passive, which is, you know, it revives you, gets you back to life, which is oh, really fucking good. So Guardian Angel does that job really well. And the fact that they made it reduced gold makes me happy so I can get this item as a late game item much faster now. So I don't have to wait like 45 minutes plus to get this item now, maybe a little less than that so happy about the change overall happy about the change for GA next up for mage items catalyst again this is the same thing with the uh, health and mana thingy where if you take damage you gain mana and if you use mana you gain health based on how much difference they have like if mana is here okay I don't know how to I don't know what I'm even doing right now let's say that this is the health and this is the mana size. Hitting with mana. Okay, so if you get damaged with health, you know, this goes down, goes down, go goes like this, and then the mana goes up because you take damage. So it's like a it's like a thumb ward type of game. It just keeps going up, down, up, down, up, down, based on how much health percentage you have over the other. So they did that with a lot of items, not just catalyst. If you saw earlier, it was also to chalice. So, of course, for all the same thing with the mana and health I was talking about. They, ma they made the AP less, they made the cost less, they made the mana less, and they made the mana per stack less. That's the, you know, one stack, two stack, three stack, when it goes up based on game time. Um, based on how long you have the item, sorry, not based on game time. So they made that less. Um, overall, the item, they didn't mention anything about the health. I think the health is is exactly the same here. Actually, in Catalyst, they didn't even mention the health being more. So there was nothing major about health or mana here to Roa or Catalyst. The reason I mentioned health is because, I, as I said earlier, Katarina with health, it's a major thing. You want to be able to burst people and kill them. If they have a lot of health, you can kill them. So anyway, Grievous Wounds, guys. Grievous Wounds... I mention this because Katharina's ulti is Grievous Wounds. The fact that they actually made it so that all healing received is actually really good, much better now, but I still don't find this like, wow, such a buff to Katharina, right? This is a huge, huge buff to Katharina. It's actually very minor buff to Katharina. You know, it, it used to reduce self-healing, now it reduces all healing. So, Soraka tries to heal the Draven, it's gonna be less. So Raka trying to heal that guy I'm attacking right there. Health is gonna be less. Anyone who attack because ult, yeah, Katas ult, anyone in AoE just gets grievous wounds. It's good, it's still a good change, but it's not major. But anyway, this is a thing that affects Katharina and this patch. We also have Hexa Revolver. Now, after I read Abyssal and Zonia, I was really hoping that Hexjet will have some form of okay. Maybe this item will be good on Katarina now. Maybe it's actually going to be an item I like getting on Cat. I still see people buying Gumblade. You know, I still see them buy it because they prefer. I still don't prefer Gumblade, to be quite honest with you guys. I don't find the item amazing. I like Luden's Echo way more. Catching a blade feels like it's way too much money to get. I'm not a fan of the item. But here, look at what they say, okay? They say that basic attacking right at the bottom at the bottom look at the bottom magic bolt unique passive damaging an enemy champion with a basic attack shocks them for 75 to 150 here i was thinking okay luden's echo shock hexjet revolver shock hmm, maybe i'll actually have some decent early burst against the laner right i was thinking that but and then I see uh, bonus magic damage, 40 second cooldown shared with others. So it's a 40 second cooldown where you can get that 
thingy down. It's like a Luden almost, but it's not really a Luden. It just works. I think it will be good with Luden's Echo. But still, it's not like a major item. Matter of fact, after I kept reading, I didn't feel like getting this item anymore. Because look what happens next, okay? Look what happens next. By the way, it shares... Uh, shares it, the, sh the thing is shared with other hex jet items so the other hex jet items have that same concept with the basic attack and the s burst shock thingy so then i read this okay kindle gem kindle gem okay an item i don't think i ever want to get on cat first of all katarina does not favor cooldown reduction but this patch seems like it really wants you to get CDR. It's like Abyssal Scepter, 10% CDR. Zonia's Hourglass, 10% CDR. Hexshot Pro Belt, Belt, whatever it's called. Proto Belt, 10% CDR. Why are they, like, putting so much CDR in bullshit that I... I well, I'm a Katarina. I don't need CDR. I mean, I, I got my passive. But then again, right, Abyssal Scepter... With the CDR, it could be good on cat because you can maybe get more Qs off, more shampoos off if you don't get resets. But as a Karabina player, you should get resets. I still don't like the addition of cooldown reduction in those items. It's way too favorable for mages, not favorable for Katarina. It just sucks. Like it just sucks. You know, like it, the there is nothing that's really major for Katarina here that makes me love things. Nothing really I like so far. It's just okay changes good for mages not for cat but anyway this item gives you 10% CDR the main thing I like about this item if you read firebolt the unique active you dash forward so dashing forward concept I really like that I like the mobility aspect of it dashing forward and then using shampoo or dashing forward flash shampoo to someone pretty cool concept you gotta admit it's a cool concept having that is really cool enemies hit by now keep reading enemies hit by multiple fire bolts take 20% damage from additional bolts 20% damage additional bolts right what's Katarina all about damage having that and then you hit another bolt or I don't know if it's a skill shot I don't know how it works yet so basically bolt and then it hits another bolt the enemy takes 20% additional damage and then you burst basic attack with the hex shot revolver being 70 to 150 magic damage you basic attack to get that uh, hex shot revolver passive and then full burst the Luden will proc and then you kill them I don't know it sounds pretty cool the only thing I hate about this is the fact that it's a recipe for Kindle gem and CDR. I don't want that. It's not going to help me. I don't care about C at least give me an item that's that has AP damage and CDR rather than it being a Kindle gem. I don't know. I don't like it. Kindle gem just feels like such a waste on Cat. I don't even favor health for Katarina to begin with. Health is not a major thing. But in this patch, I'm thinking sure haunting guys might be better than Abyssal Scepter because it does 15 magic penetration flat on all levels I don't want to get a pistol for late game I can just get a voice staff late game and it's a hundred percent more effective right I don't know I still like the concept of dashing forward flash shampooing to someone the dash concept is pretty cool the damage concept is pretty cool you know you do additional damage for additional balls I don't know this item seems like it's pretty good for cat just by reading I still don't like the recipe of the item I think Hester Revolver is much better than before. Uh, Hexer Gunblade, I read about it. It's not it's not changed that much um, for Gunblade. I'm actually taking a quick look right now for the uh, Gunblade. Yeah, uh, Gunblade, it just... You deal instantly 250 magic damage to target champions and you slow them. So it's just like it used to be. Except now it, it they say instantly deals 250 magic damage to target champions. And the basic attack is still there. If you buy Hex or Revolver and you upgrade it to any Hex Jet item, that basic attack thingy I was talking to you guys about, it's still applied there. So keep in mind. So that's really about it, guys, for all the items for patch 6.9 that affect Katarina. I'm just really, I put Abyssal here on purpose because I'm really upset where Abyssal Scepter direction is going to. I'm not very happy with that. I loved it the way it was. Now they increased the gold. They increased 
Okay, the MR increase, big deal. Like, I never bought this item for magic resistance to begin with. I, bu I bought this item because it was such a good item for laning, and it was such a good item for bursting. It reduces 20 magic resistance at level... Like every level, but now it scales and they're making a late game item, and I don't like that at all. I think haunting guys is a much better late, early game item now because of 15 magic penetration and the fact that you have that strength early and it costs less than abyssal 1650 compared to 2750. That's a major change in terms of gold. Man, I'm telling you, Haunting Guys seems to be like the way to go for early. I'm telling you, it also gives you health, so you have that type of survivability early with with the item. I don't know. I'm really upset, to be honest, guys, with this change. I am not happy with it. Absolutely not happy with it. I'm sure a lot of Katarina players can argue certain things over certain other things. Like, oh, wait, El Nino, this item is actually good. You should consider it because I haven't actually tried the item itself. So I will give it a try when patch 6.9 comes out. Should be by tomorrow as I'm recording this video because I have not tested any of these items. This is just me reading what I think about them and giving you my opinion on those items. That's what I think at the moment. Overall, not very happy with the items, uh, not happy with the changes. <sighs> I hope Katarina is going to be taking a good path here. I'll get some games, I'll play some games, I'll try to understand the concept and everything. And then we'll see. We'll see how things go. Anyways guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Now make sure you click that like if you enjoyed the video. And consider subscribing for more Katarina content. So yeah, thank you guys. Have a big heart. Violence solves everything. Peace out. How's it going everybody? El Nino here. And today, we're going to be talking about the Mage update. One of the huge Mage updates. How's it going everybody? El Nino here. And today, we're going to talk about... We're going to talk about... Hello everyone. Really? Really, dude? There's gonna be a fly while I'm recording? Really? Really? Fucking really? There's going to be a fly while I'm recording.